I don't think there was any, you know, complicated, you know, thinking that led me to law enforcement. It was just uh, I wanted to do a job where I was outside. I wanted to do a job um, where things change day to day. I didn't want to have a, you know, mundane job. Things, you know, I was on the tactical team as a, um, as a officer, as a sergeant, and then as a lieutenant, as the team commander. So I was, you know, I was an operator. I was a, you know, um, team leader, and then I was in charge of the whole team. You know, and also I was a negotiating supervisor, so I was in charge of the negotiators at one point. And, you know, a lot of those call-ups that we've done with the tactical team over the years, you know, you, you know, barricaded people and suicidal people and, and all that stuff, you know, you see just the, you know, the crazy part of human behavior, you know, people at their absolute worst day of their lives. Um, you know, some of those things are rewarding and some of them are disappointing, depending on how they end. But, you know, a lot of those incidents have been, um, you know, have been uh, pretty interesting, I guess. We have enough uncommitted time during the day and, and evenings that, that we can go to things like um, ice cream socials, neighborhood picnics, you know, festivals downtown, um, oh, you know, um, shop with a cop events, all those things that are not traditional police work, but they're very important to East Lansing and they're important to the police department because what those things do is they get our police officers out in the public, that the public gets to know the officers, um, and just as importantly, the officers get to know the public.